In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the valve O. We've talked about monothongs and diphthongs, um, and we know that a diphthong is a valve that has um, a special quality to it. It starts in the articulatory position of one vowel and then glides into the articulatory position of another vowel. So when I say O, O, I start with the monophthong version O, O, and then I glide into O, as in book, O, 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 O. O, O, O. There are other ways to make this sound too. Sometimes when I'm feeling particularly relaxed, um, I use a schwa to start. So I do a, 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 o, o, o. And that's my relaxed version. Um, so this is important because sometimes we use one and sometimes we use another. Um, and to some extent, this can rely or um, be dependent on your dialect. Um, but um, closed syllables often use the monophthong o, like if I were going to say oats, oats, oh, oats. Um, but in an open syllable, I might be more likely to use the diphthong, like arrow. And you can actually see me go through the two vowel gestures, air, row, row. You can see that I've got two articulatory gestures in that final syllable, which is open. Um, and it might sound a little odd to you if I said arrow, arrow. Some dialects only use the monophthong. Um, so they might say, oh no, I gotta go. I gotta go home. Sorry, I gotta go home. Uh, that's um, uh, an accent that um, just uses the monophthong version. Uh, it's really typical in Wisconsin and parts of North Dakota and Minnesota or Minnesota. Um, so those are the versions of O. Um, and uh, it's important that you sort of learn to manage the two and not just pick one for all of your transcription. Um, Learn to hear the difference between the two so that you can transcribe for the speaker accurately. 